Welcome to Red State, Blue State, talking about movies. And I'm here with Jen Cheney, who writes for the Washington Post, Esquire, and Vulture. And I write the Tencel Talk blog at Patheos. And we have both just seen Man of Steel. Jen, what did you think? Oh, Rebecca, I hated this movie. I mean, there's really no other word for it. I couldn't wait to get out of the theater. It was the most disappointing, awful summer movie experience for me so far this year. Didn't like almost anything in it. How did you feel? <laughs> I loved it. Really? <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite movies I've seen so far this year. I was wow. engaged. Okay, so I'm fascinated to understand why, because I, I can't. Help me understand. Well, you know, I liked, um, I liked it in general in the sense that I was always interested. There was there were only a few slow parts. Other than that, I was kind of on the edge of my seat a lot. It just kept me engaged, which, you know, is the number one thing for a movie is that you're interested in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I really liked that it had heart. I thought it had the kind of heart that Iron Man was missing. Um, that other other recent kind of superhero movies haven't aspired to or haven't reached. So I, I liked all the backstory and all the emotion. It was surprisingly emotional. It really was. Mm. What did you hate about it? I didn't find it emotional at all. Um, I thought there was like zero character development in the movie. I mean, there were these flashbacks to when uh, Superman was younger and had just kind of was dealing with growing up in Smallville. But I felt like those moments, first of all, we've we've seen them so many times now. That's that's the the problem you have with the Superman movie, where right. it's it's we've seen it on TV now in comics and in movies, and the and the way those scenes were handled was just, I I thought just very cliche and didn't add anything new to it. And then the rest of it was just blowing stuff up. Like these people could not finish a conversation without a building falling down, a bus crashing, something. It was just so excessive, and I got no sense. Really, if you ask me if Henry Cable is a good Superman, aside from the fact that he's very handsome, I don't have an answer because he barely got to say anything. Let's go to the red state, blue state thing because we are divided. Now, do you think that it is more of a blue state movie or a red state movie or do you not see it in those terms at all? I mean, if, if we assume that like a red state movie is more kind of aggressively action oriented and more blow em up, uh, which may or may not be true, but let's just assume that it is. And a blue state movie is a little more thoughtful, a little more nuanced. Then I would say that yeah, this is a red state movie because it's to me anyway. And you, and you, you know, may disagree. I think you do. I just didn't see a lot of nuance. I saw a lot of stuff blowing up and dialogue that just right. didn't mean anything to me. Right. Yeah, I agree. I actually thought it was a red state movie, um, and. Mostly because of the clear moral lines. You know, Superman is kind of the ultimate America. I mean, even probably more so than Captain America. He represents, you know, truth, justice, and the American way. And uh, so his always, always, always doing the right thing every single time, rescuing the bully that's been harassing him, rescuing, you know, all of these people. Um, to me, that's a, that kind of almost simplistic morality or very clear morality is much more tolerated on the red state side of things than on the blue state side of things. I think mm -hmm. blue staters like to have um, a little bit more angst and struggle um, and kind of mixed motives. So I would definitely call it a red state movie, although I think everyone will enjoy it. I don't think you have to be a red stater to enjoy it, but maybe maybe you do because you hated it. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know. I think you have to like Zack Snyder to like it. That much is certainly true. Right. Um, I think we agree on that much, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for talking about it. Um, I, I'm looking forward to talking about other things um, with you, and this was really fun. Yeah, thank you, Rebecca. Yeah. We'll agree to disagree, but you we're still friends. Yes. Not the first time nor the last. Right, but see, this is the this is the lesson. Even though we disagree and we're we're red state versus blue state, we're still friends. That's right. We're still we're still good. And we can still hang out and drink beer. That's right. Yeah.